Welcome to Learn Elixir. Congratulations on taking your first few steps towards mastering the Elixir programming language. Learn Elixir aims to help a select few people progress through their careers extremely quickly in a positive direction, whether that's to increase your income, enhance your working conditions, or even just to participate in interesting projects. We want you to move through that path in a quick and effective manner, as opposed to wandering around aimlessly and meandering. My name is Mika Kalithal, and I am a seasoned Elixir developer who has witnessed a growth in demand for talented Elixir developers. I've also done a lot of hiring and noticed a decline in developer quality due to a lack of structured resources to learn Elixir and OTP well. For those of you that may be new to Elixir, we'll start out with the basic what is Elixir. It all starts with the Beam VM, which is run on top of your operating system. Using the Beam VM, you would normally write Erlang applications. Instead, we write Elixir applications, which then compile down into the Beam bytecode using the Erlang abstract format. This gives us all the testing and tools of the Erlang community and allows us to move through projects quite quickly while maintaining a very high level of fault tolerance and scalability. Elixir is actually a fairly new language, only coming out in 2011. A lot of other languages such as Java and JavaScript have a lot longer timelines behind them and thus make it a bit easier of a choice to use because after all, it's battle tested, right? Well, this is actually where Erlang and the Beam VM come in. This language has been out since 1986 and has been battle tested for over 30 years in telephone systems, which has forced it to be fault tolerant, reliable, scalable, fast, and highly concurrent. Imagine dealing with millions of phone connections. When one phone connection dies, you probably don't want all 999,000 other connections dying along with that one connection. And this is where Erlang is really strong in its fault tolerance. So the reason Elixir was created was actually because it looks like this. And as you can see, this isn't necessarily the nicest code to be reading or writing. Instead, we have a new skin on it, which is Elixir, which makes the code look a bit more like this. Looking at this, most developers would probably find the Elixir version a bit easier to understand, even more so when you start getting more complex. Now all of this begs the question, why should you learn Elixir? Now, while there are many reasons that you should learn Elixir, including it being a just wonderful user-friendly language to learn, there's also some statistical relevance to why you should learn Elixir. In the Stack Overflow survey of 2019, Elixir was actually the eighth most loved language of all time, which puts it at a really good spot considering that it's even above JavaScript. Now, if we compare that list, Elixir is actually the second highest paying out of those top eight languages. And so it's not only one of the most loved languages, but also one of the higher paying out of those most loved languages. If we look at this InfoQ graph, you can also see that in 2019, it was marked as an innovative language, which can help you in a few ways. One, talented Elixir developers are harder to come by, which means that the possibility of working remotely is often a lot higher, and you'll also get paid a premium because your skills are kind of niche. As Elixir gets adopted as well and becomes more popular, You'll be postured as a more experienced Elixir developer having used it for so long and also having experience. Hundreds of companies are starting to use Elixir and a lot of them have been using Elixir or Erlang for a very long time with more and more joining every single year. Some of the companies using Elixir and Erlang are WhatsApp for its messaging framework, AWS for its simple DB, Weedmaps for a lot of its backend architecture, Discord for its chats features, Adobe, Lonely Planet, and BBC. All of these companies chose to use Elixir Erlang due to its fault tolerance and high scalability. Because of the tooling available in the ecosystem as well, it's incredibly easy to debug your production apps or even get basic metrics and telemetry up and running. This allows you to work with your ap application in production extremely easily and all the tooling just comes out of the box. So now that you've chosen to learn Elixir, why us? Our goal at Learn Elixir is to help you expedite your learning. So if you don't feel like you can reach your goals by yourself or without the help of others, we're there to help you. We also want you to excel in your career a lot faster, so we strive to make sure that we can help you. We also provide a proven system that we've used to take people through the journey and guide them through the process by someone who's actually gone from zero to 100 in Elixir. Our mission is to help you learn the skills in Elixir to help you earn a six-figure programming job. But if you have a different motivation for mastering Elixir that isn't income related, that's fine too. We just see this as a more concrete target to shoot for, and we always recommend that you have something as a goal to shoot towards 
so that you can progress even faster and stay motivated and stay motivated. Our program is unique in that it provides you with a lifetime membership to our full spectrum of services at all the stages in your career, whether that's our mentorship or the exclusive content that we keep up to date and relevant so that you can become a talented Elixir developer. Inside the course, we start with an intro and how you can be successful in the course and learn in the best ways possible. After that, we move on to the syntax and fundamentals so that you can get the basics of Erlang down. Following that, we move on to REST and GraphQL with Phoenix, which is our first introduction to the Phoenix framework, which is our web framework for serving REST endpoints, templates, and GraphQL APIs from Elixir. Phoenix is actually the equivalent of Rails in Ruby, and it makes it a lot easier to spin out products quickly. Following that, we go into Ecto, Database, and Architecture. Ecto is our ORM that we use inside of Elixir to manage our interactions with Postgres in our database. In that module, we talk a bit about the architectures that are possible with it, as well as how to use Ecto. Following that, we move on into OTP and testing. And what exactly is OTP? Following that, we move in, following that, we move into OTP and testing and talking about the core of Elixir and Erlang, which is OTP itself. OTP is what allows Elixir and Erlang to function so wonderfully fast and concurrently. And in this chapter, we really start digging into the nitty gritty of it, as well as how we can test all of the code that we've created up until this point. Following that, we have our next module, which is a deep dive into Absinthe, our GraphQL framework, as well as how we can preemptively handle errors so that they don't crash our application or make weird bugs. In our last few weeks, we talk about how we can go distributed as well as the planning necessary so that we can ensure high scalability. In the next week, we focus on distributed tooling and libraries that can make going distributed a bit easier for us. Coming close to the end, we talk about creating and managing releases and actually deploying our code to a production environment. And finally, we talk about architecting with Elixir, which is just a week where we talk about the general goods and bads and thought processes that we have when using Elixir code. Overall, there's a lot that's going on in Elixir, and there's a lot to learn. That being said, it's a great idea to have some sort of mentorship in going along this journey. To connect with us, we have a Facebook group where you can ask questions with all the other Learn Elixir community members inside of Facebook. We also have a Slack channel within the Elixir Slack itself that's private so that you can always get some help when you need it quickly. That Elixir Slack channel it is monitored frequently, and if any activity goes on, someone will answer your question, usually within an hour or two. So if you're ever stuck, that's one of the fastest places that you can go to for help. On top of those two resources, we also have our weekly Q&A calls, in which I answer any questions related to Elixir that you may have. And any questions, whether that's architecture, basic syntax, or even just did I do this right confirmation, you can all ask in that session and we're more than happy to discuss it in a group setting. Finally, once you go through this course and work with our community, we can then begin working on your GitHub portfolio so that you can build out a nice visible image for yourself in the cloud. Once you've completed your first project on GitHub, we can begin introducing you to our industry connections in the job market. However, you won't be fully prepared to work at scale until you've successfully completed the final project and received your Learn Elixir Certificate of Excellence. But in the meantime, we can help you begin working on your path to get there. Learn Elixir aims to create an extremely high standard of excellence that companies can rely on when hiring new Elixir developers. So we only want to work with the developers we know we can absolutely help. To see if we're a good fit, we have a few questions that we need to ask you in the next window. After that, you can book a call with my co-founder Jerry on Zoom to go over our program in greater detail, including the pricing options for our lifetime membership. If you've made it this far, congratulations on showing serious commitment, and I look forward to working together with you.